Hi students, today we will discuss about the Thales structure of rhizopus. So you have to see this figure. So this is the structure of rhizopus. In that you have to see in the at the base rhizoidal branches. On that there is the mycelium and uh, these uh, stolons are present. On that mycelium the sporangiophore is present and at the tip uh, uh, above the sporangiophore, sporangium is present. The single uh, structure of these cells are the uh, it, uh, it uh, the aseptic and having the single nucleus or it will be multi nucleus uh, state is present. That's why this uh, mycelium is called as the sinocytic mycelium. You have to see in this uh, left hand figures, you, there is the aseptic body and the two nucleus. So, these uh, uh, mycelium of the rhizopus contains the sinocytic conditions. So, uh, let's discuss one by one the thallus. The thallus of the rhizopus is known as the mycelium. So, this mycelium is profusely branched segments of mycelium called the hypi. Jo branching uh, of mycelium is known as the hypi. This hypi is accepted and multinucleate. That's why it is called as the sinocytic. This is what is important. Then the wall of hypi is made up of the fungal chitin and the reserve food material uh, present in this rhizopus is the oil globules the mycelium is cottony white and it forms black pin head like structure these are called sporangia you have uh, you have to see this figure so naturally the mycelium of rhizopus is look like the cottony white. Jo cotton hume dikta hai, usi tarah ye uski mycelium dikte hai. Aur jo sporangia hai, sporangia kaise rehte hai? This uh, looks like the pin head. Um, pin dekhte hai, pin ka head kaise rehta hai? Ekdom chota sa aur thoda uh, rounded shape rehta hai. To usi tarah ye sporangia mycelium ke upar ek sporangia ho rehta hai. Usme and sporangia present with it. So this mature thallus is differentiated as a rhizoid hypi, stolon and sporangiophore. So the rhizobus thallus this rhizobus thallus mainly three parts. One is the rhizoidal hypi, stolons and sporangiophores. So let's discuss one by one. First one is the rhizoidal hypi or which is also called as the rhizoids. So uh, this uh, also called as the hold fast. The rhizoidal hypi is also called as the hold fast because they uh, attach to the uh, or they holding to the substratum. Jo niche base rata hai usse e attach karke rata hai isle usse hold fast bolte. Then these are much branched and small cylindrical. These arises from the lower surface of the apparent node like structure of the hypi. It penetrates the substratum for absorption of nutrition and helps to the anchorage. That means these rhizoidal hypi will be uh, penetrates into the substratum that means uh, if it is grow on the bread then they penetrate into the breads for the absorption of nutrition and also for the anchoring so this uh, will be uh, present on the lower surface of this substratum then second part of the thallus is the stolons these stolons are the aerial branches arc these grows horizontally on the substratum and it touches the substratum to form node like structures 
the node like structure from rhizoids and sporangio pores so uh, these stolons are slightly aerial branches they are placed horizontally to the substratum and on these uh, stolons the sporangio pores are present or the stolons are the intermediate regions uh, from the base the rhizoids and the upper part is the sporangio pore then third structure of the sporangio uh, pore the sporangio pores are the aerial erect and cylindrical on branch and they develop the sporangia uh, or sporangium at the tip and it is having the black color so uh, sporangio pore and that will uh, bears or they contains the sporangium uh, and this sporangium is in black in color and they looks like the pin hairs so uh, these sporangio pores are aerial that means and they are erect cylindrical shape or it will be on a branch so in rhizopostales there are mainly three parts Uh, first one is the rhizoids, then stolons and sporangio four. Then we will discuss about the external structure of rhizoids. The diagram uh, will same uh, for these uh, uh, questions. We have to uh, refer the diagram of questions one. Then uh, regarding the nutrients. the uh, rhizopus forms cottony mycelial mass it is not chlorophyllous that means the chlorophyll pigments are absent uh, in the rhizopus so they cannot prepare their own food material by the process of photosynthesis um, photosynthesis that means the productions of the energy or food material but uh, is due to the absence of chlorophyll the rhizopus cannot prepare their own food so it shows the heterotopic mode of nutrition isle use kya bolte hai heterotopic mode of or uh, heterotopic mode of nutrition that means these uh, rhizopus will depend upon the other organisms means the rhizopus grows on and dead and decaying matter hence it is saprophytes राइजोपस डेड और डिके मटेरियल के ऊपर ग्रो होता है इसलिए उसे सेप्रोफाइट्स बोलते हैं दिस राइजर्डल हैप्पी पेनिट्रेट्स इनटू द सब्सट्रेटम इट सिक्रेट्स द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर एंजाइम्स दिस एंजाइम्स कन्वर्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक फूड ऑफ द सब्सट्रेटम इनटू द सिंपल शुगर्स सो दिस सिंपल शुगर्स आर एब्सॉर्ब बाय द राइजर्डल हैप्पी then circulate through the mycelium thus the rhizopus shows the extracellular digestion extracellular digestion kyu bolte hain kyunki jo rhizoidal hyphae hai rhizoidal hyphae kya karta hai jo substratum mein matlab for example jo a the bread ke upar grow hota hai to bread ke andar penetrate hota hai wahan pe wo kya karta hai kuch extracellular enzyme secrete karta hai uski wajah se जो ऑर्गेनिक फूड है ऑर्गेनिक फूड का कन्वर्जन सिंपल शुगर में हो जाता है देन दिस सिंपल शुगर विल बी एब्सॉर्ब बाय दिस राइजर्डल हाइपी एंड देन दे विल बी सर्कुलेट थ्रू द माइसेलियम सो दिस राइजोपर शोज द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर डाइजेशन सो ऑन दिस टॉपिक देर आर डिफरेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन आर आस्किंग रिगार्डिंग द सेप्रोफाइट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड सेप्रोफाइट्स बिकॉज दीज राइजोपस ग्रो ऑन द डेथ एंड डिकेइंग मैटर्स देन दीज राइजोपस शोज द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर डाइजेशन बिकॉज इट कैन विद द हेल्प ऑफ राइजाडल हैपी दाइजोपस सीक्रेट इज extra cellular enzymes and these enzymes will convert the organic food into the 
सिंपल शुगर देन दिज राइजोडल हैपी एब्सॉर्ब दिज सिंपल शुगर एंड इट विल बी सर्कुलेट थ्रू द माइसिलिन दैट्स वाई दी इन द राइजोपस शोज द एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर डाइजेशन देर इज ऑल्सो द क्वेश्चन आस्क रिगार्डिंग द हेट्रोटॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन वाई इट इज हेट्रोटॉपिक बिकॉज दे आर डिपेंडिंग ऑन ऑन द ऑदर फॉर द फूड दैट मीन्स दे कैनॉट प्रिपेर देअर ओन फूड दे कैन डिपेंड ऑन द ऑदर फूड मटेरियल देन इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द और थैलेस ऑफ द राइजोपस डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन में बी आज रिगार्डिंग द स्पोरेंजो फोर और स्पोरेंजिया और ऑल्सो रिगार्डिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द माइसिलियम दैट इज कॉटनी वाइट स्ट्रक्चर देन हॉटिज सीनोसाइटिक दैट मीन्स इट विल बी असप्टेड एंड मल्टी न्यूक्लियर द रिजर्व फूड मटेरियल विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द राइजोपस दैट इज द ऑयल ग्लोबुल्स देन द सेल ऑल ऑफ राइजोपस इज मेड अप बाय द काइटीन देन वॉट इज हाइपी सो हाइपी आर द प्रपोजली ब्रांच सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द माइसेलियम दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द हाइपी so in this way the different mcqs are asking on the uh, different points of the uh, thallus structure as well as nutrition of the rhizopus